Hey, Dave Kelly with Head Games Builderworks. Today we're going to talk about welding up 2JZ water jackets. What's the deal? Check it out. So every time we post pictures up of welding up a water jacket, people freak out. They don't understand why do we do such a thing. And here is a video to explain why. The why is very simple, that when we're dealing with cars that have 100 pounds of boost or more, 400 shot of nitrous or more, and you have a situation where they're going 200 miles an hour down a drag strip, you don't want to have water going in between the cylinder block and the cylinder head because it could go underneath the tire if something were to happen. So what we do is we do a dry deck on the block. Well, we don't do, but people buy dry deck blocks and we weld up the water jackets and we mill them flat and that way there's no water there. They still run water through the head though. But here is the process. All right, so we're gonna be getting this 2JZ ready for welding now. So we're gonna be using the Head Games half inch super spiral burr. You see the one we have next to it is about two inches longer than what we actually have in the grinder. So we're using a shortened shank so when we come in and we put a chamfer on each of these water jackets that were nice and stiff, the six inch, you're gonna be chattering around, you're gonna be bouncing across your deck. You don't want that, you, nice, you want nice clean cuts. So you're gonna be coming in, grinding out everything, making everything nice and smooth, and that's gonna make sure that all your welds are penetrating and that you don't have any porosity coming through. So in here, this is where I see the the most important part to be welded up you see how this water jacket around the chamber next down before it actually enters the block we're actually going to come in and we're going to take out all of this material in here to make sure that that's actually sealed up uh, before we actually close up anything else on the deck So with the deck ground out, all the water jack gets opened up for getting ready for weld. This is the only section of the head that we're not grinding out. So this is a, the oil feed line into the head. So if you're grinding this out and you're planning to fill it with weld, you're going to run into issues at the track because your head's not going to be getting oil. Keep this one stock, grind out everything else.
All right, we got the two JZ on the fixture table. We are clamped down on each end to help us prevent any warping happening to this head while we're welding. We got to put a lot of material back into this before it's all sealed up. So our rod of choice here is going to be 4043 aluminum. Uh, a lot of people use 5356. It's a little bit harder but you'll see here that we actually come in and we peen down the welds afterwards. If you ever weld up a head, you're gonna see that cast is very dirty. Uh, even when it's clean, peening everything down takes away all the porosity and you'll, you'll be left with a nice deck surface. So what we have done is we figured out a way to not, or to minimize all these heads turning into a banana because a lot of times if you're just welding stuff when you just rip right through it it's going to banana and then you have to line hone it bore it or it just turns into junk but we cannot do that here All right, so now we're at mill, the head's been welded, and we're gonna make a flat. So we're gonna make a flat to make sure that all the spaces that need to get hit are hit and they're perfect, and we have a nice clean deck surface. looking pretty good we're looking pretty much there except for that spot and i see like a couple little spots right matt where we got yeah you got a couple spots right in between the chambers and then for after weld uh and the mill you got to touch up all your stud holes again they tend to get get beaten in a little bit weld overhangs in them you got to clean all those back up to make sure your studs are fitting through and yeah we'll be ready to roll now, what we do here is we do the stud first, and you do the stud first because you want to make it easier on you on the other side of it, right? So you want to, like after you're milling, you're just cleaning up the hole versus actually finding the hole. All right, that is all ready for CNC, and I just wanted to show you guys one that's actually ran. Now, I know the deck surface looks a little messed up, but this thing has seen 100 pounds of boost, a 400 shot of nitrous, in white rice and it is uh, a sure testament of how that welding works see we left the oil hole open half inch studs everything is done and this thing has been mid sixes low fours in the eighth mile and all that works for keeping eric a very happy and safe guy all right that does it for us today be sure to like subscribe comment below i'd love to hear from you toodles Yeah.